add new coins or tokens to your Solana Phantom wallet, can't find the right settings to add a custom token, then you are in the right place. I'm gonna show you step-by-step step exactly how to add new tokens on the Phantom Chrome extension and the Apple iPhone or iOS mobile wallet. Sorry, Android users, your version is still in beta, so you're gonna have to wait. I'll also walk you through the differences between adding a custom token on Solana and Ethereum. The Phantom wallet does this different from MetaMask. And if you're already using your Phantom wallet and you wanna throw it out the window because it requires your password to be re-entered every 15 minutes, don't worry, I got you covered on a solution for this one too. To finish it off, I'm gonna share some really, really exciting news that's coming about the future of the Phantom wallet. Welcome to Crypto Tutorials. Warning, I am not a financial advisor and this is not investment advice, seek a professional. If you're new to this channel, I wanna congratulate you for joining us. I'm David and you're gonna to expect to see me all around this crypto education mecca. On Crypto Tutorials, we share easy to follow walkthroughs. We offer hot off the press alpha about new and emerging trends in crypto and NFTs. Whether it's new projects or old technologies, you're gonna get click by click walkthroughs that take away any of your concerns. To discover the latest alpha in a simple and straightforward way, hit that subscribe button down below and click the bell notification to be first in line for our newest content. I'll also think very, very highly of you if you choose to tap on the like button for this video. It's gonna allow us to expand our reach and find new friends. Finally, if anything is confusing, drop a question in the comments. I'll be glad to get back to you and share any information I have about it. If you're looking for a specific section in the video, there are timestamps in the description and the slider bar. Now these are gonna take you to the exact moment you need, but it may come at a cost. You might miss a safety warning or some lucrative tip that I plan on dropping, okay? So just be careful. Now it's time to add a new token to your Solana Phantom wallet. If you're just getting started and you still need to set up your Phantom wallet, I'm gonna to link to a video that shows you exactly how to do that. Just look for the little tag up there in the corner or find the link in the description below. Moving forward, I'm gonna assume you have a Phantom wallet already installed. Now, if you're just looking to add new tokens to it, I'm gonna show you in the Chrome browser extension as well as how to do this with the Apple iPhone or iOS product. Like I said, unfortunately, no Android right now, it's in beta. Once this goes live though, I'll be glad to put a video up and I'll make sure to put a link here in the video. So keep an eye out if there's a link that shows you the Android one. All right, for the Chrome extension, start by logging into your wallet with your password. Then look for this little manage token list. It's right here below the list of the different tokens that you currently have in your wallet. When you click here, it's gonna bring up a list of Solana token program coins. These are the officially approved tokens that have been pre-inputted into the wallet. As you can see, it's a pretty long list. It's got all the big names, Radium, Serum, USD Coin, Tether, many, many, many more. It's also got some smaller and some more obscure projects. So just search for the token you want by name or scroll till you find it. I'm gonna add USD Tether on the Solana network. Once I find the token, I click on the slider to the right and click on the close button. Now you can see it's part of my wallet. The contract address, all the details, these are all automatically inputted for you. Now this is gonna cover you on any Solana token program coins, any of those approved coins out there. To add a token that isn't on this list, you actually have to go back and go to the send or receive section of your wallet. Once you're there, go into the search field and click the plus button. Then enter the mint address, name and symbol. You're gonna find this information on Soul Scanner. Just be careful, there's a lot of scam coins and copies out there. It's also gonna cost you 0.00204 SOL tokens. Right now, that's about a quarter, so not a big deal. If you try to do this with a Solana token program registered coin, it's going to overwrite the data with their official data from their registry. So this is different from how Ethereum, Binance, and Polygon handle custom tokens. For those networks, you create the smart contract and add the settings to your MetaMask wallet. Most Solana tokens, they're made by actually creating an account then the account gives instructions to the token program. And by doing this, it mints an SLP token. That's that Solana program library. Now, any SLP token is gonna show up in the search section of your Solana wallet. Most Solana tokens are created within the SLP. So they automatically end up in that list that your Phantom wallet pulls from. Now, if you swap tokens in your wallet, 
Phantom also recognizes this SLP token when it arrives and it'll automatically add it. This is a really nice feature since it avoids a lot of confusion people have about lost coins. You can see right now by looking at my wallet, I only have three tokens, Soul, USD coin, and USD tether. And right here I am on the Radium Exchange and I'm gonna swap some Soul tokens for Ray tokens. So if I click swap and I approve my gas fee, wait a few seconds because Solana is nice and fast and my transaction goes through. Now the tokens are in my wallet. Isn't that easy and nice? I didn't have to enter anything. It just automatically showed up. Oh, and by the way, if you find yourself frustrated with how quickly your Phantom wallet wants to log you out, just click on the settings here in the bottom right corner. Choose the auto lock timer, now the default is set to 15 minutes, which is pretty fast. Put mine to 60 minutes, it rarely gives me any problems at this point. Before I jump in on the mobile version and the really, really exciting news that I wanna share with you, you should know, not only do we post YouTube tutorials, we create detailed courses to help you with all things crypto. Our newest release is a market leader called NFT Profit. It covers everything you need to be successful investing in NFTs. You can get all the details by going to nftprofits.com. Look, just listen to what one of our members had to say. I wanna give a big thanks to Jason Moffat and David Tatera for the NFT Profits course. I've been wanting to dive into NFTs for a while and their course was a fantastic way of making sense of it all. I'm currently up over two ETH, about six grand, on a project that's gotten some serious attention, and this is only the beginning. Get the whole scoop on this amazing course at nftprofits.com. Now, if you wanna add a Solana token to your mobile wallet, it's gonna be a little confusing. As I said, Android's in beta right now, so you're gonna be looking at the iOS version, but you can see you have that same manage tokens list below your tokens. But when you click here, all the tokens are pre-selected but these tokens are hidden in your wallet. What happens is they don't show up until you have a balance. So to show you, I'm gonna send some radium to this wallet from my other wallet, all right? So I've sent the radium, now I'm gonna refresh and boom, there we go. The Ray token shows up right as I refresh it. I never had to actually add it to that wallet. You can also add custom tokens, just like you did in the Chrome wallet, by clicking on this plus button here up above the search bar in the manage token list. Same thing, you enter your information, you pay the little fee, Oh, and lastly, the news that I mentioned that was really exciting, Phantom is going to be adding Ethereum integration soon. Now, I don't know about you, but I much prefer the Phantom wallet to MetaMask. It's cleaner, it's easier for tokens. I love how it just recognizes tokens and adds them to your wallet automatically. And the big winner is NFT integration. You can actually see your NFTs inside this wallet. MetaMask's browser extension, you have to use OpenSea to look at them. I am very, very hopeful that this feature is gonna be in the Ethereum integration. This will be a major upgrade for the wallets, all right? Well, congrats, you made it to the end of the training. You learned how to add tokens to your Solana Phantom wallet. If you appreciated this training, please show it by clicking on that like button down below. Hammer down on that big red subscribe button to see the best insider alpha and blockchain trainings on the web. Oh, and leave a comment if you need more help or if you just wanna say hi. Take care, my friends. Keep living that crypto high life. Aloha.